Hey guys, so today I am making a shrimp over extra creamy polenta. Um, this recipe is super easy. I used to hate polenta, but I love this stuff now. Um, so here I'm just have some chopped onions, a tomato, and some scallions that I'm sauteing. And next I am gonna add some chopped garlic to that. And we're gonna cook this up for about a minute, just to get nice flavors. And next, I'm gonna add some white vinegar. Then I am going to add some Italian seasoning, just a little bit. Now we're just gonna let that cook down nicely for about 15 to 20 minutes. Over here, I'm just gonna add some Creole seasoning um, just to bring out more flavor. Now I'm gonna add some chili powder. And by the way, guys, on the shrimp, I have also added some chili powder and some Creole seasoning for more flavor. Okay, so over here I'm just adding some salt and then I'm going to add in some black pepper. And here I'm just adding the shrimp. And, and as always guys, the ingredients and the measurements will be in the description box below. Once your shrimp is in there, make sure you cook it till it's about 95% done, then turn off the heat and leave it on the burner because it will continue cooking. Um, you do not want to overcook. Now we're ready to make the polenta. So I've got two cups of chicken broth going in. Then I'm gonna add some heavy whipping cream. That's one cup of heavy whipping cream. Then I'm going to add one cup of whole milk. Now you wanna let this come to a boil. So once it does, you're ready to add your cornmeal. And this is the most important step. You're doing it very slowly. You're pouring some, whisking vigorously. Just keep whisking like your life depends on it. And just keep whisking until you've got everything down in there. Um, make sure it's all spread out through. No clumps, no mess. You want this to be as smooth as possible. Just keep on whisking. Like when you think you've done, you just keep on whisking. <laughs> Now you're right back at it, sister. Start whisking again. You don't want any clumps, so you're here you are again whisking. It's coming together, so you just gotta keep whisking and just keep praying and whisking and whisking and whisking and just whisk as hard as you can and you're almost there and then you're gonna let it cook again for about 10 more minutes. Now guys, I'm so sorry my camera cut off. I did add some butter to this and this is the end result. And I also added some freshly grated Parmesan cheese. Again, I'm really sorry, didn't realize it cut off. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video and you want more, please share, like, and subscribe. And leave any comments so I know what you're thinking. Bye, see you next time.